This is News Desk, news as it happens. And just a few minutes ago, we received word that Francis Ole Kiyafi, who is the head of the RPK party, has chosen a running mate. And Samogina, who is our reporter on the ground, has the details of this. Samogina, I understand it's a woman. Well, indeed, that is in order. It is uh, the rebuild and the restore and build Kenya party presidential aspirant James Ole Kiyafi has settled upon a woman. Uh, Winnie Kaburu Kinywa, a woman who hails from Meru County, married in central Kenya, and uh, has a political science degree. She is a degree holder in political science from the University of Nairobi and equally uh, a business icon who was a former vice chairperson of the uh, Kenya Private Sector Alliance. By then, she was deputizing Manu Chandaria. Remember, uh, yeah. Kiyapi now fills in the void that uh, was left when he was endorsed as the RBK presidential aspirant, aspirant on January 4th. Well, it is probably, what I can tell you is that um, Winnie Kaburu Kinywa is, uh, she's, uh, she's 50 years old as this, and now a mother of three, and began her career as a teacher. So probably this, this brings two teachers into the presidency. That is uh, because... Ole Kiyapi began his career as a teacher and also now Kaburu, who practiced most of her, most of her career was in the, on the private sector, was equally started off her career as a teacher. Well, right. uh, Samogin, I'm sorry to catch you short. I just need to find out, was it a strategic move on Kiyapi's part, according to what you've heard, to A, select a woman, and B, one who is or who can be described as politically green? Yeah, well, uh, what I can tell you, Edith, is that uh, there was a team that was formed by RBK, a team of five, a technical team of five people, uh, two drawn from the party and uh, three consultants hired from outside. And they were mandated to begin, begin the exercise of uh, choosing a suitable presidential candidate for RBK. So they settled upon three names, but um, according to Kiyapi, the key factors that he was considering in choosing a particular choosing the running match rather was first of all it was chapter six of the constitution where integrity and leadership is quite critical from chapter six uh, the, the next factor was uh, this person was of course supposed to be a kenyan who has kenyan interests at heart and right. uh, and also saying that he had stepped uh, big names in the political field because uh, they don't provide much change, of course, uh, saying that, claiming that uh, most of the, the big names in the field have already failed in the, in the leadership track. But the critical one was the third factor, and that was gender equity. KRP is saying that he wants to provide fresh, uh, fresh leadership, fresh style of politics, business unusual as he sees. This is not business as usual where uh, if, if I'm a presidential aspirant, I settle upon another male presidential aspirant saying that uh, his campaign is going to be focused on women empowerment saying that uh, positions if it, if they clinch uh, the presidency positions in government will be shared on a 50 50 platform ADF. All right, thank you very much, Samogina. He is coming to us live from Lavington, where Francis Solekiapi of RPK has formally named his running mate, and he'll be bringing us many more details of who she is and what her background is at 9 o'clock.